Hi, it's Marie the Soul Alchemist, and it's time for Pick Your Own Card Weekly Guidance for the 18th through to the 24th of December. Oh my gosh, we're right near, we're in this last stretch of 2023. And we're very much still in the 1212 portal, leading into the solstice, because that's what this poet portal um, time is in terms of time frame. It's through to the 12th, through to the solstice on the 21st. So we're very much still in that energy. And the cards that have been chosen today, and if you've not picked your cards, tune into cards one, two, or three. And I'm going to reveal these messages now. The bonus card is all about money and wealth. All of these cards, for me, link into the essence of 2024. If you can approach your intentions, your goals, your dreams, your ambitions, all of that with this energy, with these elements from these cards, all of these cards, that's what's going to bring you success in 2024. So there are, there are a fabulous set of cards. So I just want you to take on board all of the all of the messages if you can. Obviously, you've got your main focus for this week, but I strongly feel that there is messages here. There is guidance for your 2024 as well. Like reminders, reminders, key things that if I, it's, if, it, if it's not supporting that, if it's not fulfilling this, if I don't experience or feel like that, okay, I need to go back to these cards and just kind of question how can I course correct and get back into experiencing that or working towards that so you're kind of like okay what are these cards okay so if you pick card one so this is 18th through to the 24th so it's taken us right up to uh new, uh, new year's eve oh my god christmas eve um so there will be a, obviously a, another another weekly message next week ready for the christmas period or the holiday season depending on what it is that you celebrate so your first card we've got to remember this because we're going into maybe spending a bit more time with family and people that maybe we don't gel with as uh, as much as perhaps we would like it's unconditional love so unconditional love we've got this heart connection it's being with those people that support us hold space that we connect with connect with and this might not be family this can be like soul tribe and people that you know clients and friends and things like that so these are people that you want to spend time with not have to want to <laughs> and that we have unconditional love for and unconditional love is a funny thing because there's not a lot of unconditional love that uh, makes its way into the human experience yet because we are still very much stepping out of the patriarchal um, time period and into the Aquarian age. And, we're, you know, we, we've got to we've got to do we've got some work to do to get to unconditional love. But unconditional love is way easier to experience when we have um, pets or, you know, we're connected in with like seeing new babies and things like that. We just have that unconditional love. And it's it's something that we can really uh, identify in those particular situations. Outside of that, we, we can start to place conditions and expectations and assumptions and all of those types of things on our relationships. It's just what we do as human beings. But this is about unconditional love heart connection so what i'm getting with this is heart connection with other people so it's really seeking out those people that you vibe with this week and that might be just to kind of have a little pep pep me up um to be heard to be seen to feel supported because you know we all need that we all need that kind of like big hug of, you know, you've totally got this and, you know, don't worry about that. Whatever it might be, we all need that support. We all need that unconditional love where I can just receive or I can reach out and get support and the other person isn't expecting anything back and they're doing it from a place of love. 
not from a place of if I do this, then um, it'll be okay for me to then ask for that in return. <clears throat> it's it's kind of like I want to do this for you because I really love you, you know, I really respect you. I really, you know, whatever, whatever the reasons may be. And there's no reasons that come to mind. It's just like you do it, you know. So it's it's finding those people that you can have this heart connection with. So seeking out those people this week, for whatever reason that might be, you may just may need that little boost, that little encouragement. So don't be shy in asking for support or just reaching out and just connecting and doing a virtual coffee or an in-person coffee or whatever it might be. Just uh, getting that heart connection, getting that um, connection physically with somebody or virtually with somebody is just going to really help you to sparkle. There's a lot of sparkles in this card. And so this is where your heart, you know, your vibration is going to be lifted when you are feeling the frequency and experiencing the frequency of love. Now, of course, that also is unconditional love for ourselves. So can we expand on that a little bit more? Are we being too hard on ourselves? And do we need to um, be less judgy, less critical, give ourselves a break, give ourselves permission to take time off, do whatever it is. Can we, can we treat ourselves with a bit more unconditional love? So that's also the, the second kind of message of this card. Whatever way you can experience love this week, it's going to really support your vibration and your frequency. And that makes you magnetic. Magnetic to other people that may want to work with you. Magnetic to healing, uh, you know, relationship rifts, um, you know, family, discord, all of that type of stuff. When we're coming from a place of love and compassion and empathy and forgiveness, it does make us magnetic. It makes us sympathetic. And people may want to be in our energy a little bit more. But also make sure that you are lighting up your own heart and feeling filled up as well. <clears throat> That's really, really key because we can't give from an empty cup. We know that. I'm going to circle back to 2024 inspiration with these cards at the end. So do, you know, continue to listen to how I thread all of these together. So unconditional love. How can you create, give, receive unconditional love this week? This is going to help your vibe. It's going to help you to sparkle. The sparkles continue in card two. But if you're wondering what cards I'm using, for those that maybe are new to my channel, this is the Akashic Oracle card deck. This is my deck. It's 49 cards channeled by my guides. They are a modality in a box. So it's not just about healing, uh, not just about guidance. The, the, these are also a healing tool um, because I also support you in showing you how to go into the Akashic Records to activate healing. And you do that with a pendulum a uh, key that also comes with the cards and a free masterclass. So those elements are all part of the card deck. So if you want to maybe invest in those for yourself or maybe get them as a gift to give to somebody else, then the link will be in the description below. Okay, so second card, we've got this unconditional love. We're filling ourselves up. We're vibrating. We're sparkling. Second card, card two, is vision and ambition. We're getting ready to start to think about 2024. Some of us are. Some of us may not be. We're kind of like, we've got to get through to 2023 yet. But there may be just some things that start to pop up through this week that start to inspire you around what it is that you would like to do in 2024. So make a note of those. You don't have to hold yourself to... <laughs> that idea or that inspiration just make a note of it and it, it may happen it may not but it might be when you come to step into 2024 in January it might be like well, I'm just going to go back and like just see if that feels like something that I would like to actually uh, embark on to actually fulfill and it might be like no it's just a flash in a pan <laughs> bid and gone I, that doesn't kind of interest me now but it might. So what I'm seeing with this particular card, if you pick card two this week, is to have more clarity and definition around what it is that you want to start to work on 
and to experience in 2024. So you might just find through this week that things start to drop in, ideas, inspirations. It might be that you see something on social media or on the TV, and it might be like traveling somewhere, a location. Uh, you may be inspired to book a retreat. All of these things may start to come in this week. And some of it will be to do with timing. Some of it's also to do with the solstice because we are just kind of closing that portal, which has gone from 12-12 into, you know, the 21st of uh, that solstice energy. And, you know, we're really kind of thinking and starting to consider, you know, what it is that we want to plant the seeds of to experience in 2024. So you might find that there's some of these elements of seeds that are starting to drop in so that you can, you you know, you can make the ground uh, ready, plant the seeds, and then they start to do what they need to do in 2024. I love this card because the vision and ambition is in your hand. It's not over in the far distance where the sun is rising, or for some of you, it might be sun, sun is setting. Don't matter, either way. It's in your hand. And that means that your future, your 2024 is in your hand. You are the creator of your 2024. So whatever you put into place in terms of decisions, choices, actions, ideas, inspirations, you have control over that to an extent. Obviously, it's nice to have a little bit of trust in there in the universe and our guides also facilitate some of that process. But we're the driver. We're the, the ones that are taking the steps first and then the universe responds. Take a step, universe responds. And we kind of, that's you know generally how we move through this, uh, this process. So vision and ambition. What do you want to experience in 2024? So start to formulate, start to dream, daydream, vision, journal, do your vision boards, whatever it might be, start to kind of gather these ideas because the 21st, you can use that time at the equinox to um, plant those seeds um, of inspiration, of ideas for 2024. So it's a perfect time, but know that this is possible, that you can have your ambitions and your visions realized that they're in your hand. It's just whether you believe that you can realize that. It's about self-belief. It's about confidence. It's about trust and obviously taking action. There's a lot of sparkles also in this card as well. So it's making sure that those dreams, vision and ambitions really light you up. And that goes back to this card of unconditional love. Is it something that you really, really would love to do? Or is it kind of like, mm, I said I was going to do that. Somebody else, that's somebody else's dream and ambition and I'm going to go along because I said I would. If it's not really lighting you up, then maybe consider not doing that. Do you want to put your time and energy into something to fulfill somebody else's vision and ambition? Or do you want to focus on your own? That's a question that we need to also ask. Vision and ambition. As mentioned, Oracle card deck, if you want to get your own modality in a box, then click the link below. Also, if you want to have your own one-to-one -one reading and me support you through 2024 with four sessions with Akashic Healing, we do it on Zoom. It's a 60-minute session there or thereabouts. I We kind of tune in every quarter. You can do that on a, a subscription and I can support you. Uh, through 2024. So again, if that's something that you think, oh my gosh, I'd really like to have Marina's support through the whole of 2024 and be held, then that's the, you know, that's the easiest way to do it. Okay, so if you pick card three, absolutely love this. It's alchemy and magic. So this week also is about creating magic. It's also about knowing that whatever you've been doing Sometimes, you know, there's things going on in the background that we can't see. And this is about trusting parts of the process. This is about trusting the universe and trusting yourself that you've been doing what you'd need to do in order to shape an outcome. So if you've been feeling a little bit doubtful, um, 
not really seeing the results in the way that you thought you were going to see the results. And you're starting to doubt the process. You're starting to doubt the things that you've done and where you've put your time and your energy and your focus. And that could be within relationships. It could be with work. It could be with your health, all of those types of things. This card is saying, please continue with what you're doing because the results are there. You just haven't seen them or your ego hasn't seen them physically yet. So keep creating the magic, keep alchemizing. And alchemizing can be moving energy, doing energy healing. It could be working on solutions for people's systems. It might be, you know, doing things within work where, you know, you're, you're solving problems. That's all alchemy. Where we turn an issue, a challenge, a problem into an opportunity. That's alchemy. Our body is an alchemical machine. Our bodies are amazing for alchemizing colds, viruses, flus, all those types of things. Our body alchemizes all the time. Your body alchemizes your food. It alchemizes water. So we're constantly in this in this process of change. We're changing things all of the time, but we can be more intentional as well. And just know that things that you have been working on to create change, move you forward. Sometimes the results just take longer. And this card is saying, continue the process. Don't give up because the magic is about to land. So have trust that the universe is doing its bit. As long as you've been doing your bit, continue to believe, continue to show up, continue to do the thing, whatever it is that it relates to, to you. And it will land. It will absolutely land. So that's card three. So how this relates to 2024, just briefly going to say, this is your guiding thing for choices, actions, and decisions in 2024. Come from a place of love. If it's lighting you up, heart space, perfect. Take that on board. Is it fulfilling a vision and an ambition? Can you take action on it? I'm doing something that I truly, truly love. This is driving me forward. It's my mission. It's my why. Keep kind of connecting in with that. There's lots of sparkles, as I say. This is all about vibration and magnetism. And believe in the magic. Believe in the stuff that you can't truly see. Have that trust and faith that there is also spirit team. There's the universe helping you. It's not just about you having to physically do the work. There is other means, other methods, other ways to weave into the physical action, the human experience that you're having to also facilitate the process. So always believe in the magic. Always believe that you can create magic. That you are just, you're more than a soul within a human body. You're an alchemist. You're a magician. You're a change maker. You're a facilitator. You're a lover. Whatever it might be, you're all of those things. And some of those things you'll do, you'll do better and will love more than some of the other things that we do. Always can continue to connect in with the alchemy and the magic of life. That's what I would take from 2024. Coming from a place of love, something that really lights you up, it's driving you forward, it inspires you, it motivates you, it gives you purpose in being your experience. And it's it's the physical human experience linked in with the spiritual, linked in with magic. It's having a bit of the both. It's the divine masculine. It's the divine feminine. This is the strategy. This is the action. This is the magic and the intuition. And we always come from a place of love, if we can, because it will always bring alignments and it will always bring abundance. So just a side note there for your 2024, if you can do those three things or keep those three things in mind, that's just a really good framework for you to move through 2024. Apply those three things. Now, the bonus card is money and wealth, which for me incorporates all of those three cards in terms of, do I love this? 
or can I give a frequency of love in this process? Is it inspiring me? Is it supporting a vision and an ambition for 2024? And it's got the element of um, alchemy and magic and trust. All of that is going to support money and wealth. Now, wealth can be anything. It's abundance, it's prosperity. So it can link to anything. It isn't just about the financial money part. But, you know, it is money and wealth, this bonus card. And it's your authentic self. So does it feel authentic to you? Are you trying, showing your true self? Or are you hiding behind a mask in order to obtain your money, your wealth, your prosperity, your abundance? Are you being true to you in how you do that? Or does it feel a little bit icky along the way? And the answer might be no. No, I'm being totally authentic. And I'm giving myself permission to really show up in the, the way that I want to show up. And if we're doing that, then that's an aligned way to attract prosperity, money and wealth this week. It's about authentic, authenticity. And so what I also want you to consider is where there are money fears, money projections, beliefs and stories that may be impacting you this week because this is your bonus card. It's money and wealth. And does that feel authentic to you? Does that feel like your truth or does it feel like somebody else's truth that is just being given to you as a message, as a conversation, as a, a piece of advice? But actually, does that feel right for you? And so you've, you've got that opportunity this week to also question anything around money that is being given to you. And does it feel authentic to you? Does it feel true to you? Or are you more in the camp of you know somewhere along the lines that the universe is abundant and that abundance is available for everybody? But when we connect in with fears and lack and scarcity and not enoughness, competition, comparison, then we start to build a different reality around us, which then is showing us that. And what we have to do is start to break the cycle of, I know my experience is abundant in all its forms. And then we can start to shape a new reality that then starts to show us that we are in an abundant space. But it takes, it takes a mindset shift from us and to also recognize what is true and authentic and what isn't and what has just been somebody's uh, opinion because they're coming from a place of fear lack and scarcity or it's family conditioning or societal programming or fears collective fears and I think we all can recognize when we hear those conversations I, I was on a course today and it was interesting that the topic of money, you know, and, you know, the price of bills and the scarcity. And I'm not dissing the fact that that's the that's what we see economically in, in you know, in our space at the moment. But it was really labored on, you know, people really connected in with that. And it was almost like this tribal thing that people were like, oh, yeah, and this and oh, yeah, and that. And it almost gives people permission to talk about lack and scarcity and complain about things. And so it was really interesting to watch because I was kind of like, well, I'm not buying into that. That's not my truth. That's not my reality. So it's really, you know, being, it's really uh, looking at how we respond to those types of conversations uh, and, and feeling comfortable enough to not partake and join in that conversation and, and and kind of like just be curious and be neutral about it um it takes practice it takes awareness but that's what we're here for this is about money and wealth so it's about discerning what your authentic truth is and how you show up authentically around prosperity uh money and wealth and are you in your authentic 
aspect. Now, if you do have money fears, money concerns, then you've also got to acknowledge that. And if you're trying to suppress that part of you, then you're not being authentic to yourself either. So it's it's perfect to acknowledge the fact that you're feeling fearful about money and not having enough money. Acknowledge that. But then what do you do about that? Do you then continue to sit in the fear of that and allow the fear to define you and your choices and your emotions? Or do you start to look for solutions? Do you start to use mantras or affirmation to start to change your mindset around that? To start to change your feelings, to start to do things that bring a sense of safety into the body and the nervous system. We can always turn it around. We have the choice, we have the power. It's whether we choose to have that awareness but it's important that we understand what our authentic truth is or self and our behaviors are around money, prosperity and wealth. And then we can be like, well, that's that's where I'm at, but maybe I don't want to be there. And maybe I want to start to change that about myself because I'd like to have more of an abundant experience. But I know I've got to change on the inside to change it on the outside. So lots of information in that one. I'm hoping that that um, feels clear in terms of what I've suggested and what I'm kind of like sharing here. But do let me know how all of the cards resonate. They all weave into each other, as always. And um, if you want to, as I say, um, have a reading with me, either one reading or four readings and get supported through all of 2024 or you want to learn how to use this modality a full modality that comes in a box then please do let me know or or click the links that have been shared in the description or in the comments so have a fabulous week love and blessings and i'll speak to you soon bye